Hello, welcome to Trust Your Glitter. This is Christy, and I am here pulling some tarot cards for today. I am going to be on audio for the rest of the week. I'm doing a vacillating experiment, and so I'm going to kind of test myself to see if I can keep things under five minutes that's my goal. So let's see if I can do a tarot card reading in five minutes or less. And I have four cards out. The first card that was out was the six of cups, which is about revisiting our past in a very nostalgic way. I kind of think also in this particular deck that there's um a spirit guide here now normally in the six of cups there's just two people in the card revisiting one another but in this particular deck there's actually a figure in the background kind of keeping watch like a watchful eye and making sure that everybody is safe it's almost like this feeling of needing safety here which is next to the nine of swords reversed which is about anxiety but in the reversal i do see this as a positive thing because i have the nine of pentacles which is another nine and nines are about endings but in this particular case this is also about embracing your power because the nine of pentacles is like the empress so in this deck, she's holding a hawk, a white-tailed hawk, and in the rider weight, she has a parrot. Um, in this particular deck, or some kind of like parakeet, in this particular deck, this is a hawk, and the hawk represents the messages from above and how they can be applied on a very practical scale. So these can definitely be kind of sudden insights that really do manifest into reality whether it's you know you send out a job application and you get a response and then something really does come through or it could be even related to love and this is also a love card the nine of pentacles is often seen as a card of romantic um sort of like If somebody has feelings for somebody, usually that message is received and the hawk is on her left shoulder, which is the divine feminine. And then the final card is the sun and the sun is related to shining in your path. And I think that that is important because we go from the six of cups through letting go of anxiety to the nine of pentacles and then saying you know what lean in to this divine creativity and i think this is helpful because we do have a full moon in aries which is a fire sign so the sun is related to the sign of leo we do have still venus in the sign of leo and she is very much aspecting you know pluto and then we have a late uranian transit So there's going to be a lot of activity here when it comes to following our destiny. And let me just do two more. I'm still in the timing. The High Priestess and the Princess of Swords. So yes, there's messages coming through with the Princess of Swords and the High Priestess who is saying really trust and lean in to your path and intuition and in this deck she is related to the full moon so i do think there's a lot of feminine cards here and there's a lot of healing gestures especially related to the primal first chakra so that is my reading for today thank you for listening to trust your glitter my name is christy bellich christy bellich on all social media trust your glitter podcast thank you so much